<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Poor Man Mods. If you're on the internet at all, I'm sure you've seen the ads circling Facebook and Instagram of this thing called the Brush Hero. Um, I bought one with my own money to see if it was worth it. Um, I'm washing the Super today and I think it'd be a perfect time to use it. Um, I actually have used this before I filmed this video. I did use this and I actually really do like the product so I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can use it and I'm going to let you decide if you think it's BS or not. I really like it and I'm sorry Blake's Garage I saw that you did the, like this same exact video. I've had this planned for like a month and I just haven't gotten around to do it so I'm not copying you. I'm just making my own version of it so I'm not copying Blake's Garage. So we're going to use it on the Super here. We're going to use it on the wheels and then I have another use to show it to you. Um, but this thing is pretty cool. This is their pro version. They have a lesser expensive version I think that doesn't have this valve control. So this is their pro version. It was 45 bucks um, I think if you're into detailing if you like washing your car this might be something that you want But if you don't really care uh, The $45 probably is gonna be worth it to you So let's use it on the super here and might even use it on the ice 300 put it to action and see what you think of it Okay, so here is my brush hero pro what this is. This is a hydro powered Kind of like motor in here that spins the brush when I saw the ads. I thought it was this water shooting out making the brush spin which that's not the case at all it's actually got like a like a motor in here it's kind of like an air gun and it works pretty good this does have the valve control here and like a lock for it so you don't need to use both hands and it's got a knob here for less and more water I'm not sure why you'd want less because here we just like to full send it so less and more less more I'm not sure why you'd want it on the, the lower setting now and it does have a fair amount of torque like you can hold it um, like you can pull the valve and hold it and it probably won't spin but it does have some good torque like it, it takes a lot of force to make this brush not spin um, so we're going to use it on this wheel here without any cleaners or anything just the brush and this is a nylon brush it's just like a toilet bowl brush which uh, it's kind of a rip off of my invention that I did about two years ago with the toilet bowl scrubber in the drill but it's okay this is a much better version so this is cool we're going to use it on this wheel without any cleaner and see what it does and just see how easy it is to clean this wheel. So just pull the trigger and to make it real easy we'll just lock it and uh, go to town. As you can see I can shove in there really good and put a lot of pressure and the brush doesn't stop spinning. It just it keeps going. And it does like to go other directions, so it doesn't always go in the same direction. So last time when it was spinning, it was going this way. Now it goes the opposite direction, and sometimes it switches. I'm not sure why or how, but sometimes it switches directions. Get in the lug nut area real good. Let's take a look at the difference here. Let this dry and look at the difference. All right, as you can see, I did this half the wheel and it's looking really good. And that was like, what, maybe a minute without even any cleaner. I could work a little bit harder on it or use cleaner to make it look even better. But just this brush alone, it looks incredible. And it was so much easier than doing it by hand. And like I said, this is kind of like a ripped off version an improved version of my drill powered toilet bowl scrubber but we're gonna do the rest of this wheel and you might be thinking well what if my wheels are really sensitive what if I spray paint the wheels myself is it gonna destroy the wheels maybe maybe not we'll take it over to the Lexus and I'll show you what it'll do to rust-oleum spray painted wheels all right this wheels looking pretty good let's go to the Lexus all right now these are the wheels on my IS 300 they are spray painted with rust-oleum bronze and then like a duple color clear they are super sensitive very easy to chip there's a chip here 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 you pretty much you look at them wrong and you chip it if a lug nut falls and hits the wheel that'll chip it so these are very sensitive so we're gonna see if this nylon brush will damage the paint or not
You can get the brake caliper real easy. Get deep in the wheel. This thing really makes it easy. And I don't believe we chipped any paint. I don't believe we chipped any paint. It's looking pretty freaking good. Okay, this wheel is looking pretty dang good. It was really dirty and all I did was use this. No wheel cleaner, no nothing. You probably would even get better and faster results if you used a wheel cleaner, but I'm too cheap to use them. So it can do wheels, that's pretty obvious. But I found another use for this, which is pretty cool and it does pretty well, let me show you. Okay, so here is the other use for this, floor mats. You can use this on a floor mat and it does a killer job of making it nice and clean. Let me show you. Agitates all the dirt that's in the floor mat. Now you have a perfectly clean floor mat. All you need to do is let it dry and it looks damn good. That is nasty. That's a Pennsylvania winter for you. All right, let's see if we can find another use for this thing. We know it can do wheels, it can do floor mats, obviously it can do your wheel wells and stuff like that, but let's see what it can do to an engine compartment. Now I'm not gonna do a full detail, but we'll hit some of this plastic and see how easily it cleans the engine compartment. Amazing! I love this thing. Get into nooks and crannies of things. Probably can't do the aluminum. The aluminum probably needs a lot more TLC than just a brush. That needs a whole polish. But no, it's super easy and effective. I rest my case. This thing's awesome. All right, guys, there you go. That is my review of the Brush Hero. This is their pro version. I believe it was like 40 or 45 bucks. I have a link to this in the description down below if you want one. I highly recommend it if you do a lot of detailing or if you just want to keep your car looking good. As you can see, it's pretty versatile. It does wheels super easy. It can do floor mats, engine compartments. This is perfect for engine compartments. <laughs> I'm never going to detail my car again without this. I'm definitely never going to clean wheels without this unless it breaks for some reason. I have no idea how durable it's going to be, but as of right now, it is super effective. I absolutely love it and I do recommend it. <laughs> and I do recommend it. So, link in the description down below if you want one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. Peace. I wonder if you could clean your ass with this.